CloudDB, shaping your new normal. Welcome everyone to the 2021 APEC Groundbreakers Virtual Tour by Apaco UC. This year our event will be the biggest one ever done with 144 sessions, including normal sessions, workshops, and hands-on labs from 100 different speakers over 17 days. Also, it will cover sessions in four different languages. Please remember to register to as many sessions as you can. I would like to say thanks to our Oracle user groups and Java user groups that made this event possible, and also to our sponsors, Oracle Groundbreakers and your main sponsor, CloudDB. Now for today's session, monitor your database with Percona monitoring and managing tools by Elisa. Please feel free to write questions at any time during the session by using the chat tab of live webinar on your right bottom corner of your screen and the speaker will be answering them at the end of the session. If there is any issues during the presentation, please feel free to contact me at any time on the chat tab of live webinar. Now, without any more delays, I would like to leave you with this amazing session by Elisa. Elisa, I'll open your mic and put myself in mute. You can start now. Thank you. Thank you, Alvarez. Uh, thank you, everybody, and uh, welcome to my session. Uh, we will speak uh, about the PMM uh, of Percona and uh, how to monitor your uh, different databases with these technologies today. So uh, for uh, people who don't know me, I'm Elisa Ozai. I'm delivery manager uh, and consultant. Uh, here you have my contact uh, on LinkedIn and Twitter if you want to connect. Um, I am uh, certified on MySQL 5.7. Uh, I'm uh, a member of the board of uh, Italian Oracle User Group, and I am Oracle Ace. Uh, I work in uh, Switzerland for a company which is named DB Services. Uh, we are experts uh, in the infrastructure, uh, in the middleware and database parts, um, and we have customers uh, in Switzerland and uh, in Europe. We offer uh, different services to our customers, consulting, SLA, trainings, uh, uh, etc. So the agenda uh, for today, uh, we will have a short introduction about uh, the PMM. Then we will uh, go deeper uh, into the product uh, to uh, see what it is. Uh, we will see together how to monitor different uh, database technologies with the PMM, and then we will have a short conclusion. So first of all, uh, why it is so essential to uh, monitor um, our infra infrastructure? Uh, so first of all, uh, we know that we have to uh, to have a system uh, which is working. Uh, uh, we have to know if something is wrong, uh, if our uh, database or application has some problems. Um, for optimal results, the database must also be optimized. And uh, if we have a sort of proactive monitoring, uh, we can identify um, quickly performance problems. Uh, so for example, if we have uh, long queries uh, running, uh, if you have problems with tables, uh, indexes, uh, and so on. And when you uh, know your system in terms of resources, so uh, the load, the user activity, and so on, this helps helps us to prioritize uh, tasks like reporting, uh, schedule maintenance, uh, downtime, uh, and so on. And then uh, we have uh, to uh, know how uh, our application, our database grows. Uh, that means that we uh, can uh, um, uh, have some information about the resources now and in some uh, time, so about memory, disk space, uh, and so on. Uh, what uh, we could monitor uh, in general? So for, for our job as a DBA, uh, first of all, the databases, the instances. Uh, then we, can, um, we have um, metrics about the host. 
the resources of our host, so the CPU, the memory, the IO network, uh, and so on, the storage, the file system, so the occupation uh, of uh, our system. Then we could also monitor the application, for example, the number of HTTP requests, response code, and so on. Uh, and uh, yeah, so finally, what makes the difference nowadays? Because we uh, all works in, uh, uh, with different technologies. We normally we don't have a system based on uh, um, only one technology. So maybe we have a mix of Oracle uh, with uh, some other open source maybe technologies. So what is important uh, uh, to have maybe it's a, a technology which can monitor different uh, uh, technologies, so different uh, uh, databases uh, technologies. We would like also to have uh, uh, a tool which can uh, offer us a sort of comparison between uh, uh, machines, the host instances, the databases. We would like maybe also to compare the, the, the configuration of our systems. Uh, we uh, could also have a product with nice features because uh, we would like to have nice graphs uh, and also maybe some alerting. Uh, we would like to have um, a, uh, an easy way to manage our users to connect uh, with different maybe roles to our tool, etc. And the price is also important. So uh, in, the, in the market, I think that we have lots of um, uh, monitoring products uh, to, to monitor uh, different technologies, but sometimes the, the price is uh, almost high. So um, maybe uh, we would like to have uh, something a little bit cheaper. So um, now I will speak to you about uh, two uh, of the main uh, components uh, of the Percona PMM. So uh, on one side, we have the Victoria metrics. What is that? So um, it's an open source tool, uh, which is uh, there uh, for the monitoring part of uh, the, the, the tool. Victoria Metrics is a scalable time series uh, database uh, which exports the metrics uh, in, uh, uh, in a Prometheus format. Actually, uh, for the uh, little history, um, in the past, the PMM was based on Prometheus. But recently, uh, some months ago, uh, Percona decided to replace uh, uh, the Prometheus by the Victoria Metrics. Why? Um, they did lots of tests, and actually, uh, the um, Victoria Metrics uh, uses up to um, uh, six um, uh, times less RAM than Prometheus. And it requires also seven times uh, uh, less storage space uh, to um, store uh, the, the, the same volume of metrics uh, than Prometheus. So in terms of resources, it was a um, high uh, gain for uh, the PMM. So you have uh, you can have uh, multiple uh, data sources uh, which can ingest data into Victoria Metrics, InfluDB, Graphit, uh, and lots of other ones. Also the Prometheus. Uh, you have a single node version of Victoria Metrics or a cluster version of that. Um, Actually, the Prometheus is based uh, on a language which is called PromQL, uh, which is a language uh, specifically for monitoring uh, system, uh, which is uh, really powerful uh, to, to, um, for the queries, uh, graphs, alerts, uh, and time series. And now the Victoria Metrics uses the Metrics QL, uh, which uh, which is based on the Prompt QL, but but which which is uh, more uh, uh, powerful and which offers more uh, functionalities. And here you have uh, a link to the documentation of Victoria Metrics if you want to uh, read a little bit more about the product. Then the second uh, component of the PMM is the Grafana. So what is Grafana? Uh, it's, uh, again, an open source tool uh, which is there to visualize uh, the data. 
uh, for monitoring also and the performance analysis of your metrics. So it's actually it's the platform uh, uh, to track and uh, to 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 visualize your your data in a. Uh, in some graphs, uh, so it's really the analytics platforms uh, for your for all your monitoring uh, metrics. Um, um, yeah, you have also the alerting uh, as a feature. Um, again, uh, as uh, it is for Victoria Metrics, uh, you can uh, um, use uh, different uh, uh, data sources to uh, to collect uh, uh, data. Uh, so again, uh, you can use it with Prometheus, with Graphit, InfluDB, Elasticsearch uh, to get your data and um, lots of other ones. Uh, Grafana offers uh, uh, lots of dashboards uh, and plugins. Um, some of them are uh, already available in the official uh, library of, of Grafana, so you can directly use it or you can also um, develop your your own uh, dashboards and plugins so it's really uh, yeah configurable as you want and here you have uh, again a link to the documentation if you want to read more then so after this short introduction if we go uh, deeper um, into first of all the percona uh, what, it, what is the uh, Percona? So um, it's, uh, it was founded by Peter Zaitsev and Vladimir Chanchenko. Um, they both worked uh, at uh, MySQL in the past, uh, and uh, in 2006 they decided to co found uh, Percona. Uh, which is uh, now um, a leading provider of support uh, consulting uh, um, about uh, different uh, uh, open source uh, technologies such as MySQL, MariaDB, MongoDB, and PostgreSQL, um, and some other uh, ones which are on prem and also uh, on the cloud. And here again, you have documentation uh, about Percona. So now what is the PMM, so the product of Percona, uh, the monitoring and management tool uh, to uh, monitor. So it's this open source tool, uh, which uh, helps actually uh, the database, especially databases um, administrators and uh, developers uh, uh, to um, have uh, a monitoring of their uh, systems. Uh, so to go uh, deeper into uh, the application and the database performances, and which provides uh, uh, detailed and, uh, and temporal analysis of your, of your data. You have here documentation about the product. Now, uh, about the architecture, so the PMM, uh, it's um, based on a client-server model. Uh, here you have uh, a, a picture from uh, Percona, uh, which shows you uh, the different components. So we have a PMM server, uh, which is the central part of the, of the PMM, uh, which aggregates the collected data and uh, presents it uh, in, uh, in table, graphs, um, under a web interface, we will show it. I will show you uh, later in the demo. Um, and then we have uh, the the PMM clients, uh, which are installed on each database host that you want to monitor. Uh, and the client collects uh, all the server metrics uh, um, and also the query analytics data and also the uh, the complete uh, metrics uh, of your uh, database technology. Um, to have a complete overview uh, of your performance. Then you have also some other components, uh, uh, the, the Percona platform, uh, which provide uh, uh, value-added uh, services for, uh, for the PMM. So now about the server. Uh, this is the architect architecture, uh, what you can see uh, on the right. Uh, about the server, so uh, several uh, uh, tools 
um, we have the query analytics, um, which allows uh, you to analyze the performance, uh, to have a, a view on the performance uh, of your queries of, uh, over time periods. You have the Victoria metrics, as we said, uh, so which is this uh, scalable time series database, uh, which uh, replaces now the Prometheus. Uh, to aggregate the metrics uh, which are uh, collected by the exporters. Uh, then we have the Grafana, which uh, offers the dashboard uh, and the graphs uh, to, uh, to view your data in an aggregated way uh, through the web interface. Yeah, that's the main, uh, the main components. And then, the, yeah, the, the, the backend uh, database to, to store the data is uh, it's a Postgres database. Uh, for the installation of PMM uh, server, uh, very easy. So you can install it uh, through Docker images or with open virtual appliance, which is um, given by Percona. You can also install it in in the cloud uh, of Amazon, or uh, you have also some uh, uh, easy uh, installation scripts, uh, which are uh, given by Percona, which directly install uh, the Docker and also the PMM server. Um, normally, yeah, for the moment, the most uh, uh, um, the, the the solution which he, uh, which is uh, used the most for uh, at customers uh, what I see now is the the first one so through Docker and the requirements for this option so is to have uh, this at least this version of Docker um, one giga of uh, storage per monitor database node uh, if you want to have a retention of one week, but by default, uh, the, the PMM retention is 30 days, so one month, and uh, uh, two gig of uh, memories per the uh, monitor database node. Um, but don't worry, it's not um, it's not proportional to the to the number of nodes. So uh, normally, for uh, twenty or thirty nodes, uh, you should be uh, yeah. You can use, for example, sixteen uh, giga of uh, of memory. Yeah, maybe to make it uh, uh, more real, uh, let's have a look on how it is easier to install uh, the, the server through a demo. So I load uh, the, ima the image uh, that I downloaded of the PMM. The version two. I create the persistent uh, volume uh, for the data under Docker. That's here. I run the container for the PMM with the image that we just downloaded. And I will call it PMM server. And the container is already here in an healthy state, so it's running. If we have a look to our EP address, this one, we can now use it to connect directly to our server normally. Um, Sorry. So this is the console. I have to change the password the first time. And you, as you see in uh, uh, with one command, I have already my uh, PMM server, which is uh, up and running. This is the domain. Uh, um, dashboard and i can already see that i have one monitor nodes which is already there with one monitor services so it's uh the the server itself uh, with this postgres uh, back uh, backend database uh,
So let's continue with the architecture to see uh, what is the client. Uh, so it's something like that. The client actually it's um, a mix of uh, exporters and agents. Um, so we have exporters uh, for each uh, uh, database. Uh, so when it runs, uh, it's the, the service uh, which uh, connect to the database and ex execute the metrics uh, collections to uh, to get results to the PMM server. Then we have the PMM agent, uh, which, uh, which is a daemon process, uh, which uh, is there uh, to start and stop, for example, the exporters. The VM agent, uh, which is the vector metrics daemon, which sends the metrics um, in push in a push way to the PMM server. And then the PMM admin, uh, which is the command line tool uh, for manager directly the PMM uh, uh, client. Uh, so, for example, to add and remove database ins instances uh, uh, that we want to uh, we want to monitor. So this is uh, the main component of the PMM client. For the installation of uh, of the client, so we um, we have the option to use Docker again. Um, Otherwise, uh, for all the uh, modern uh, um, Linux uh, distributions, so we have the package manager for Debian and Red Hat, uh, and the binary package for uh, all the other Linux uh, Linux uh, distributions. Uh, the requirements uh, uh, for the um, uh, for the client. So uh, there is a matrix uh, to have the supported uh, operating systems uh, uh, by Percona, which you have to check. Then you just need uh, uh, 100 mega uh, of storage for the packages uh, itself, um, and normal. That's all. In case, because the basic is to have a good connection to the PMM server. In case you have some uh, delay uh, of connection uh, with the PMM server, maybe you need uh, a little bit more of storage uh, to let the client uh, store a little bit on a local cache some data before uh, uh, sending it to the to the server. So if we switch back to our uh, demo and we want to install on another VM the client. Again, uh, very simple. Uh, hi, I'm on uh, Linux, so I have my package here. I launched the command uh, PMM admin config to uh, register the uh, client uh, to the server, so the IP of my uh, PMM server. And that's all. With the PMM admin list command, I can see now that on my uh, client, uh, I have the PMM agent uh, which is running and also already uh, the node exporter, um, which is uh, the exporter which um, collect the metrics uh, about uh, uh, our system. So the metrics about uh, storage, about uh, memory, CPU, etc. And then, as we said, the VM agent uh, which push the metrics to the server. Yeah, this is just a configuration file. And that's all. So again, back to our system, and we see now two monitor system uh, nodes. So you already uh, see the um, the second one. So the 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 PMM client uh, has a node, but for the moment on this uh, on this node, we uh, don't have any um, uh, monitoring uh, system configured. So this is the second step to do if you want to monitor uh, a database technology. Yeah, and uh, this is another graph just to show you the interactions of uh, different components uh, between the clients uh, and the server. But we already uh, discussed about that. Yeah, sorry, up. Yeah, so this is the uh, the overview of the uh, user interface uh, that we just saw. 
dashboard. So lots of nice uh, dashboards uh, in the PMM, uh, which are uh, already uh, installed and pre-configured for uh, some of um, the technologies. So the MySQL, the MongoDB, the Postgres. But as we said, we have also the possibility to create a custom dashboard and also to import from grafana.com or other um, Git, GitHub, for example, uh, dashboards which uh, were already developed uh, from uh, other people. One dashboard that I uh, really like, it's the node summary. So it's the, what is um, collected by the node exporter that uh, we just uh, saw and uh, uh, which collects the metrics uh, uh, about the system. Then you have also the query analytics uh, dashboard, which is a special one uh, which uh, allows you um, to analyze database query over time uh, and maybe help you to find uh, uh, performance problems. So in case of problems, you can uh, check uh, which query may be the cause of your problem and you can get detailed metrics uh, for them. So on the left, uh, you have uh, a set of uh, uh, selected filters. Then you have a panel uh, uh, in the middle uh, with a list uh, of your uh, queries. And then uh, on the right side, you have uh, some uh, uh, key metrics uh, associated to this uh, query, such as load number, latencies, and so on. Then you can click on one query and you can really see the detail. You can uh, uh, check the, um, um, the plan of your query, et cetera. So lots of details already. Uh, the, 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 the main point uh, of our uh, monitoring tool, so histometric, this is an example of one MySQL uh, uh, matrix which is connected, so the connection to our system. So in comparison with the uh, maximum value uh, that we defined. For the user management, so about the product, uh, you have the possibility to create users to connect to your tool with roles, so with different roles and affect these roles to your users. To, you can uh, uh, connect uh, to the tool as an admin, so uh, to administrate the PMM tool, or as an editor if you uh, just want to modify some dashboard, or, or uh, just as a viewer if you have also, uh, only the rights uh, to, to view the dashboards. Then you can also create uh, teams uh, to uh, group uh, users. Uh, some settings uh, which are uh, really interesting. Uh, so, uh, sorry, <laughs> too fast. Uh, so you have the frequency uh, with which you, your data will be collected. Uh, also, how long you want to uh, keep your data. Uh, you have the security tool which uh, performs uh, uh, some checks, uh, security checks uh, on uh, some uh, instances and uh, which reports the results. For, exa for example, for MySQL, you can uh, check uh, with that that you have maybe you're running on a, an old version of MySQL or uh, that you have uh, problems with some users uh, in terms of uh, passwords uh, or, or stuff like that. Uh, what you have to know maybe is that telemetry uh, allows you to collect and send some basic and anonymous data to Percona, uh, which helps them uh, to, um, to have a focus uh, on their development and to improve their, their services. Um, it's, um, yeah, it's really uh, anonymous data about, for example, your PMM version, uh, your server installation method, uh, server uptime and stuff like that. But it's not about your, um, your data, about your collected data. But if you want, you can, uh, you can uh, uh, turn it off. Uh, 
Again, under the PMM settings, you have some uh, technical preview features now, which are really interesting. So it's some features which are uh, already there, but uh, uh, which are for the moment uh, uh, um, in a development mode. So if you are running to production with PMM, uh, uh, maybe it's, um, it's not a good practice for the moment to activate it. But if you want, you can, uh, you can uh, just test it. And you have also the diagnostic files that you can download here. Uh, so if you have a problem with your PMM, you can download all these files, uh, which will help you with the detection of your uh, bag. And uh, you can maybe uh, send it directly to, to Percona. Uh, an interesting uh, part, so about the, the alerting. Uh, so. Um, Actually, uh, we had uh, the first method of uh, alerting the PMM was the Grafana alerting uh, through the Grafana alerting uh, feature, uh, which was uh, integrated since uh, yeah lots of releases already uh, into the PMM server, uh, so which was simple to to set up. Uh, but if you have um, lots of uh, uh, system to monitor, uh, you cannot use it because actually you have to go under uh, each uh, graph panel uh, uh, of uh, of any dashboard, and you have to configure the alert for every metric. So it's um, yeah <laughs> can ask a little bit of work. Um, so the other way was to use the external Prometheus alert manager. So uh, case, which is more sophisticated. Uh, and so it's easier if you have to manage uh, lots of monitoring systems. Um, and uh, actually, uh, normally they uh, uh, wanted to integrate it into uh, the, the new PMM releases. And uh, uh, it's um, it's already there in the last releases. It's already there as a technical preview feature, so you can already use it. it. Um, but for the moment, uh, maybe not for your production system. So if you uh, want to uh, put in place for your production, now you have um, uh, to configure an external Prometheus Alert Manager. So the integrated alert in there, uh, interesting because uh, directly through your uh, web interface, uh, you can define uh, your notification channel. So you, if you want to uh, receive uh, alerts by email, uh, Slack, or other methods. Then you have your templates, uh, so which are the source actually for create alert rules. So you have to define the hit before to create uh, a rule. And you can use the built-in templates, which are um, given by Percona. You have some examples here. Or you can create new templates. Uh, yeah, because really every, every alert uh, needs uh, a template then. So after then, you can create your alert rule. Uh, where you can define uh, uh, which template you're going to use, uh, the name of your alert, uh, uh, which is the severity uh, when uh, you want to be alerted uh, uh, through th which uh, channel, etc. And then, yeah, you will see it like that, the list of your alerts. You can modify it, uh, you can remove, and another um, uh, page uh, to check then your the list of your uh, problems so when uh, when an alert is fired then uh, uh, you can check it here and uh, at the same time you will be alerted in the method that you defined so now interesting part how uh, to monitor uh, different database technologies with that so for the MySQL, uh, we have to create uh, a monitoring uh, user dedicated with, uh, with the grants uh, that we need uh, to collect uh, metrics. Uh, then we have two um, uh, methods uh, to um, collect uh, um, metrics. We can decide if you want to use the slow query log or the performance schema. 
so uh, in one case or the other one, we have to adapt a little bit the configuration of uh, MySQL instance. And then just one comment, the PMM admin add the MySQL um, with the uh, query source that we defined, uh, the username, the password, uh, um, and the IP, the port of our uh, monitored system. Just to show you in our demo, so I am on my uh, VM of the PMM client. So I have two MySQL instances here. I launched the command PMM admin add MySQL for the first one, which is in uh, a master. So I have a replication also. Same for the second one, which is the slave. And now with the PMM admin list, I see that with my node exporter, which was already there. I have also the two exporters for the um, MySQL instances, just to generate some traffic. And then here, yeah, we can see that we have now three monitor systems. So, yeah, data which are arriving. So, for the master, for the slave. And we have also a nice dashboard for the, to check the replication. Yeah, so we are seeing that maybe we have a problem with our SQL thread. So, the IO is running, but not the other one. So normally we should have maybe a lag which appears here soon. So very easy to configure. For the Postgres instances, it's almost the same. So we have to create a monitoring user. And let it connect it to the... Um, to the instance, to the Postgres instance. Then we have to uh, choose the extension that we want to use. We have the choice between the PG stat statements, which is um, given uh, 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 by Postgres, or the PG stats monitor, which is the second one, which is developed by Percona, uh, which is maybe more adapted for the PMM, but for the moment uh, uh, it's still under development. So uh, for the production uh, environments, maybe it's still better to use the first one. And then you have to adapt, you will find it into the documentation of the PMM, you have to adapt the configuration of your instance in the case you are um, using the first one or the second one. And then same command, so PMM admin add the PostgreSQL uh, with the username, the password, the name that we want to give to our uh, service, uh, the IP and the port. Now, what is interesting for us maybe is to uh, see that because MySQL is Postgres and Postgres are uh, automatically integrated into the PMM. Uh, so as you can see with one command, uh, you have your monitoring, which, uh, which is here. Uh, for Oracle, it's a little bit different uh, because um, it's not open source, it's not integrated into PMM, but you have the way to make it work for, for the PMM. How? So you can, for example, uh, download uh, uh, some external exporters which are already uh, been developed uh, by other people. I use this one in my case. I configure the connection to my Oracle database. You can for sure use a TLS connection. Um, and then I launch the exporter.
after that, I can launch the command PMM admin, but, but this time uh, with the um, key external. So add external because it's not an integrated uh, uh, service. So external, the name of the service that I want to use and the listen port. Then I have to go through my uh, PMM uh, da uh, dashboard uh, to create a, a console, sorry, to create a new dashboard for the Oracle. And now I can import my uh, JSON files, which were in the packages that I downloaded, and add it to the Grafana dashboards. And then automatically I will have some dashboards like that. For example, this first one uh, with an overview of uh, the Oracle uh, instance with the hub time, uh, the utilization of the uh, FA, um, the number of sessions uh, and some other uh, data which are below, but not in my uh, screenshot. And a second dashboard uh, with the occupation uh, of the Oracle table spaces. So to show you that, I have an Oracle instance. So I launch my exporter. Ah, sorry, I have a problem with my um, Oracle. Maybe can solve it quickly. Uh, really, the password which has expired, we'll see. Yeah, so I think we don't have time. I, I just have a problem with the password of my users in, into Oracle. Uh, but uh, all the steps uh, are here in the slides. So really he uh, easy. Um, otherwise, for Oracle, you have also some uh, other uh, alternatives. Uh, for example, uh, Frank Pachot uh, developed uh, the idea to use uh, uh, a PostgreSQL data source uh, which can see uh, the Oracle databases via a foreign data wrapper. Um, so the idea is to start uh, from a Postgres uh, container, um, add the Oracle foreign data wrapper and the Oracle instant client. Um, and uh, uh, then declare, uh, declare just the stats pack uh, schema. And then you can have some other uh, dashboards which uh, collected uh, uh, some other um, metrics, uh, uh, especially in terms uh, of, uh, yeah, about performances uh, and stuff like that. So if you are interested to uh, check also uh, these alternatives, you have the uh, link here. Um, and otherwise uh, also uh, some other um, packages uh, from uh, uh, Grafana, but in this case, uh, 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 you have to pay a license uh, because it's under the uh, enterprise uh, uh, edition of uh, of Grafana, and you have really a plugin uh, to uh, to monitor uh, Oracle uh, instances. Maybe we can add also. We have time to add the Postgres instance. And I also have a problem here. No, it's the other one. Okay. Uh, it's just a message. 
already from Oracle. Um, so um, I uh, activated the configuration uh, to use uh, the PG st uh, stat statements. I launched the command uh, PMM admin at Postgres. Uh, And so if I check now all I have on my uh, client uh, VM, so yeah, several exporters. The two, MySQL, Master and Slave, and the Postgres, and even the external, the Oracle one, which is not working for the moment for our uh, password problem. So here we can check, we have also the Postgres. Uh, data which are arriving so nice graphs as you can see this is the backend of the pmm and this is my instance which is there when we activated the monitoring Okay, so uh, what I uh, what I show you uh, it was um, some uh, built-in plugins um, which arrives directly with the PMM. So we saw the the Postgres, uh, the MySQL. Uh, there is also the MongoDB. Um, you can um, also integrate uh, uh, MySQL, uh, Amazon Aurora, uh, the master slave uh, replication as we saw, the MySQL group replication, the HA proxy, the proxy SQL. And actually, uh, as I told you, uh, you uh, you can also add lots of other um, technologies that you want to uh, to monitor uh, through some external exporters. And you have here um, uh, in this uh, link, you have uh, a list of uh, exporters which are already developed and that you can uh, integrate uh, uh, easily as we uh, did it for the for the oracle so to to hand uh, my session uh, some advantages and drawbacks uh, about the pmm so yeah we told that so the first one for me is that it's a product which is completely free so you don't uh, you don't need a license. Uh, you can uh, configure it as you want. So uh, you can uh, develop your own uh, plugins, dashboards, etc. You can use what you uh, can download already from Grafana, from Prometheus, uh, from Git, etc. Or you can use what is uh, built in uh, into the PMM and uh, given by Percona. And uh, the, the main point for me is that it's uh, really a centralized monitoring tool through um, which you can uh, monitor several different uh, database technologies. Uh, and then you have to administrate uh, uh, only one, one tool. Uh, you don't need to uh, know in detail uh, what is uh, Victoria Metrics, uh, what is Grafana. You, you have one black box, uh, this PMM. You just have some commands to, um, to, to put that in place. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, everything is configured in the same way. And you have the same way to monitor and to alert your different systems. And plenty of features. So um, now you have, uh, with this tool, you have the monitoring of your instances, the alerting. Um, I saw in the uh, technical uh, uh, preview features that uh, soon we will have the backup also, uh, which uh, would be possible, uh, um, and uh, some other uh, interesting features. Uh, some drawbacks, 
data uh, for me uh, so uh, the documentation actually uh, it's not so rich uh, sometimes when it's the first time that you want to use the product maybe you have to uh, take a little bit of your time to discover and yeah to, to discover by yourself and to test um, but actually um, you have the blogs of Bercona, which are really good. So sometimes when you don't have the information into the documentation of the PMM, you can find your answer uh, into the, the blog. Yeah, if, if you want to go out a little bit um, from what uh, was developed by Percona and integrated into the product, maybe at the beginning you, uh, you need to develop a little bit your hand plugins, your hand dashboards uh, uh, to, to have um, a product which is really customized as you want. Uh, so we saw, for example, what uh, Frank Pasho developed for Oracle, and uh, yeah, it takes uh, it took some time, and uh, uh, you can uh, uh, you maybe need to to have this time at the beginning to um, to define what you really want to put in place. And for, in my opinion, uh, one drawback also is that uh, for the moment, uh, the server cannot be installed by packages. So we saw that we have the option to use uh, Docker images, uh, uh, the uh, images uh, given, uh, the appliance given by Percona, or um, you can install it into the cloud, uh, the Amazon cloud. But for the moment, you don't have the option to install through packages, uh, and it's not into their roadmap for the future. For the future, um, and for me, it should be uh, should be maybe uh, a good idea to 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 have it uh, for, for for customers for people who want to 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 use containers. Yeah. So that's. Um, all on my side. Um, I don't know if we have some uh, some questions. Uh, Hi, Elisa. Francisco here. Um, Hi. If anyone has any more questions, please feel free to post in the chat, and Elisa will respond now. I have one question that's half answered by uh, already. For the question is from uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, can we monitor a SQL Server and Oracle database using PMM? We saw Oracle database, but can yeah. we also monitor SQL Server? Yeah, the same for SQL Server. So you can uh, uh, enter the link that I that I put uh, uh, at the end of my slides, uh, just uh, uh, maybe to show you here, Prometheus.io. Um, you can find the exporters which were already developed uh, also for uh, SQL servers. And actually, um, I'm uh, working uh, with a SQL Server expert uh, to put that in place for our uh, customers here. And, uh, and it works, yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Elisa. Uh, any more questions from the from the public. All right, looks like Elisa has no more questions. Um, thank you so much, it was a very uh, uh, good presentation. They give a very good overview about PMM and its capabilities and using with Grafana, that's very interesting, a very hot topic at the moment too. And saying that, Thank you so much, Elisa, for taking the time to speak to the APEC and global community from Switzerland. And uh, for the people here, it's basically at night, but for you, uh, it's almost 10 p.m. for us over here. For you over there, I think I suspect it's morning, and thank you uh, for taking the time again. And I will just say to everyone, please take care and be safe in these pandemic times. Thank you so much again, Elisa. Thank you, Francisco. I was happy to present here at your conference. Thank you very much. Thank you to my attendees. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Have a wonderful night. CloudDB, shaping your new normal.